It is interesting to note, um, as I'm listening to the 40 meter band here, how um, I've been on this frequency for at least 20 minutes, and the drifting has been very small. You could see that the the tuning knob in the pulley system probably contributes somewhat to the drifting in here. Part of it is that, because once you have a very, very stable signal, um, it takes somewhat you know, kind of many minutes before you have to retune actually on single sideband. It's interesting because I'm trying to remember, you know, tuning back in the day. I remember tuning some single sideband. I remember tuning mostly international broadcast band signals. Uh, and um, one thing for sure is that this is. What I'm wondering here is the performance I see here, and and I'll I'll go a little further. I told you guys that the original one that I had, I actually had, um, I found that S meter was kind of a little low on the signal, and this one is also low on the signal. I, f I feel like it's not giving us the full signal for a signal that I hear, for the, the strength of a signal that I hear. But now I'm wondering if it's not just because this radio was not as sensitive as other receivers back in the day also. I mean, on M the MLA-30 right now, it's, it's getting pretty much everything that uh, the other radios are getting, but it doesn't seem to be getting them at the same strength. Now, is that the 40-year-old age and maybe it needs to have a little bit of love and tweaking of the electronics? not impossible but also when i try to think about how the original per worked i'm kind of thinking that maybe this radio was not you know up to par to the best of what panasonic could do in the, in the days one thing for sure when i remember my panasonic rf 2800 that seemed to be better than this radio for sure
tuning around and you see how finicky and how I I tried my best to to fine tune I just can't imagine somebody in the 80s not really knowing what SSB is all about trying to tune any signals in a single sideband with this thing this is just incredible It has the looks, but it doesn't have How to make sure the hobby feels like crap to people that don't know it. A radio like this is probably like that. You know when I say all the time, stop looking at old radios. This is an example. I mean, it looks nice, it looks cool, but I'm sorry, it is not true that old technology is better. It's old technology and we've gone a long way. And it's just what I'm saying. Now I'm not sad of having this radio because it has a a sentimental value and I'm having fun with it but obviously man this is crazy when you look at how you have a tune and how you gotta be so delicate just to try to get a voice on single sideband I mean for broadcast pretty good for broadcast it works well because it's easy to tune it. but man the single sideband this thing is is tough if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.